Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is a five-minute burst of FTL. Thank you very much for beginning to watch this. We just finished off a, another rebel. We've got a bit of a hull breach, and our, our outer armor is a little bit bent, but generally we're doing okay. We've got a nice set of weapons from our shopping trip, so halberd beam for doing the damage, burst laser two for punching through the shields, and an iron blast to endlessly nibble at them. Should we get a little bit extra weapons options? We've got an extra basic laser we can dump just that little bit more damage on. We're going to the quest. Hopefully this should give us a bit more scrap, which we can maybe buy something a little bit shiny at the store. Uh, merchant delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. Quick scan finds the ship being chased by a pirate. Ah, must move in to rescue them. All right, so these guys don't have much shields. That's a triple firing laser. That's a single shot. That's a medium grade missile. I am going to set you with the auto fire to harass their shields. And then it's simply a case of waiting for our other weapons to come online. I am just going to get the burst laser to fire when ready, I think. Because I don't really want that missile around any more than I have to. Hopefully, the halberd, they've only got one shield up. So the halberd beam, we can get involved. And strip a section of their rooms out. Good, doing that little extra damage. Oh, that's a five shot. That's a lot of damage. Um, yep, good, started a fire. I've got damage here, which means I've only got these two available. I'm happy where the halberd... Actually, let's replot the halberd to come up through those... Oh, let's do it the other side and get their shields come up through those four rooms. Fire in their engine room is really nice, because that means... I should be able to Let's leave that just a second, let the burst laser fire first. And then Ooh, I could stand a chance of killing the crew here, but let's just get rid of the ship. So that was overall quite expensive for us. We got a chunk of scrap. Hmm. Didn't seem to get any much for the quest, but so be it. And we have an injured crew member. The medbay with you. Okay, everyone will return to your stations, and I will now lock the stations in, since I've moved our methods around. Take that out of there, put that in there, and now we're jumping! So, we've not got a lot of scrap. I suspect what most of this store shop's going to be is about fixing things up and repairing them, because there's nothing on that. Oh, I love the hull lasers. I do love the hull lasers. The amount of damage they do is beautiful when you've got uh, systemless rooms around. Um... Dnet battery bank, battery charger, uh, long range scanners is kind of nice, but mostly I want a hull that doesn't leak. And I'll grab an extra couple of bits of that. Don't have anything to sell. Good. Okay. And we're away. Um, oh, now here's the one. Do we chance this? Yes, possibly, but I'm pretty sure, judging by that upgrade, that progress the rebels are making, we are going to get caught out if we try going for any else other than the exit. Okay. Debris from the battle is scattered across the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover a functioning weapon amongst them. A heavy ion. I quite like those. We're going to jump to the next sector, though. Which is going to be the abandoned sector or the rebel stronghold. Now, I always like the abandoned sectors because I think the Lannis events you got from the advanced edition are much more interesting. So that's where we're going. Yep. A few life signs that are remaining are beginning to blinking out. Rumors that the Lannis, Lannius are responsible. Okay, so let's have a look at our new gun. So it requires two power, does two ion damage, and takes 13 seconds to charge, versus 181. So actually the ion per second is substantially better with this ion gun. Okay, well I'm going to leave you off the list for now because I don't have the power to use you yet. Um, we need another 90 points so and another 25 for the extra power block. So that's 115 scrap we need before we can think about using that. Yes, I might get around to filling that whole breach, but right now we've got nothing to do with it. Let's go quick look at our route. All right, so we've got a nice simple arc through the center of it. So let's go north and around the top. So, I mean, it's a shame you be nice the closer together ones so they affect the amount of fuel you needed. But uh, let's pick up the distress call up first and see what we find. And we have 
The stress was coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses pick up a single life form. Go down to the surface to investigate. We will, but in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been a five-minute burst of FTL. Please remember to like and subscribe.